sesame tree. Well, clearly this is squishy, but yes, <laughs> it's me tree. And what we're gonna do today is a what's in my like pen pouch, which squishy is often in my pen pouch. So, you know, hence why we begin with him. So the thing is, is that I have two that I use predominantly. I have this one which has a string on it for some reason, uh, which is my smaller one, and has these lovely pins on it. Camilla de Erico. Uh, Shorty Squad's actually one of mine. And, and lovely dangly things. And right now it just has some Copic markers in it because why was that? It's leftover from when I was doing Inktober because I was using, I was trying to use like reduced color scale to do things. And so they haven't quite moved back to my Copic box yet. But also because I just wanted to keep some Copics, you know, over where I do a lot of my work. But yes, this is my small one. And then I have the big boy, BOI who is the one I carry around most of the time. And both of these are the same company, same brand, same color, because orange is my favorite color. If you guys, if y'all haven't guessed, orange is my favorite color. And this is, these are the pins that are on it. Eck. Which I should probably do like better stills. I'll probably, I'll do better stills when, you know, we're done. It's dangles. Nothing on this side. But yes, the things that are in the things. So I often have a glue stick in my, my box, or my bag. I have an Altoids tin that has just some um, pastels, new pastels, um, and uh, stick colored pencils this uh, Altoids tin that has, uh, that I use to like sharpen my pencils in, but it also has uh, the leads for my, my mechanical pencil, my, my multicolor mechanical pencil. Why, it's like, do they still make these Altoid tins that are circular? I love them so much. And the tangerine ones are really good. This little tin, uh, that has uh, washi t uh, thin washi tape, um, uh, a stencil I made, metallic uh, watercolor paint for when I'm out and about painting, and um, this little tobacco pouch blessing that one of my students gave me. I also often have a, a little cat pen holder, or pen, pen, bleh, not pen holder, paintbrush holder in my thing too because I carry around paintbrushes with me and paints. The, these are the paintbrushes I usually carry with me. And they're the little collapsible ones. This one's my favorite. It is an Isabi squirrel hairbrush. I love it a lot. It's so pretty. And I also carry paint palettes with me. This is a pastel treat. Pastel. Bleh. This is pastel dreams from uh, Prima. And then I also carry this one often, which is my huge collection that I carry around with me. all of its colors. I usually have my tripod in there, my, my little phone tripod. My tiny straight edge of doom. It's a, 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 a non-skid flexible one. It's real, it's real good, it's real handy. More washi tape. Acrylic gouache, because acrylic gouache. These are the colors I, I carry around with me most of the time. They, they, they trade in and out. 
I usually carry a water brush with me too. And my mixed media scissors. These are the best scissors. It's a much, it's a much better movement for your hands than uh, traditional scissors. And if you're like me and you have problems with your hands and your arms and things, it's real handy. No pun intended, pun intentional. And now we get into to markers and pens and things. Did I mention that my my bag is huge and holds a lot of things? We have this uh, Kapik Gusenfad uh, brush pen. It's one of my favorites. It you it's waterproof and a good solid black. It's like India ink clicky multicolor pens because I like ballpoint pens to draw. I'm weird. My pencil uh, for my iPad because I usually, I have two iPads. I usually take one of them with me wherever I go because I am that person. Uh, this Micron pen, which it's a PN, which refer, uh, refers to the type of nib it is. It's not like a traditional Micron with a little pushy nib. This one's like it, it, it's kind of hard. It's still archival ink. And if you're like me and you like microns, but you destroy the nibs on them, this is the version you want. This Copic drawing pen, it's actually kind of a, almost like a ball, uh, not a ballpoint, a fountain pen. And I really like it. It's, it's actually, I like it so much. It's actually got me back into my fountain pens. More, more, more weird Japanese brush pens. I totally do not remember which kind this is. Copics, all the Copics, so many Copics, more Copics. Um, another clicky ballpoint pen, but this time in pastel colors. Uh, my favorite, my favorite, bleh, can't talk. My favorite, favorite Castel pit brush. It's an SC, and it has a nib like that. Uh, my draft man, my draftmatic uh, mechanical pencil with, you know, a little thingy, thingy on it to keep my hands from hurting quite as bad. I got it from Art Snacks. Uh, Stadler mechanical pencil. I have red lead in it. I also have one that I keep blue lead in. Gel pens that I keep with me pretty much wherever I go. I am particularly fond of uh, the Gel Rolly number 10 white. If you see white highlights in my work, it's more than likely coming from one of those. I really enjoy Le Pen pens. I, I like how slender they are. Um, I wish the barrels weren't quite as slender because it makes my hands hurt to use, but I really like them. And there's usually a selection of colors in my bag. Again, ballpoint pen. This one is uh, gold. I also usually keep a red one with me. My my pride and joy, which is my my mechanical multicolor pencil, which I need to buy more leads for. And a hoard of colored pencils. <laughs> and that they're, they're Faber-Castell polychromes because that's what I like I like the way they feel on paper I like the lightness you can get and the darkness you can get and they generally just make me real happy and they are fairly inexpensive fairly most of this stuff is fairly inexpensive in like small quantities where it gets expensive is in large quantities <laughs> so yes so here's a closer look at the the button, uh, not buttons, buttons and pins on my, and dangly things on my, my bags. Um, this is from an artist named Northern Spells. The, the, the Phil Cipher, I cannot remember the name of the person off the top of my head, but I will find them and put them in here. The Demi Ace uh, D20 was from a Kickstarter I backed.
the squid that well it's a jellyfish the jellyfish is from an art trade I did at a con of course I do not remember the person's name the eyes I got from a person at anime Midwest who was behind me who who was like behind and just to the left of my booth and I do not remember their name either it was a couple years ago so On the back are these lovely trees because I'm tree. Hi, in case you didn't know. This Camilla de Erico Star Wars button. I love Camilla de Erico. My shorty squad button because in case you didn't know it, I'm short. And on my big boy bag, we have this delicate and strong enamel pen, which I think might be from Northern Spells, but again, I'll look. This lovely Cosmic D20 pin lee ellickson's i am artist kitty pin and bat i love her bats so much they're so cute uh this queer crest from my friend tabby and a little krakenana pin which the artist who did this specific design of krakenana is gawky their name her name eh, pronouns is key and you've seen her her their work on my videos before and things like that i have kind of a collection of of key's work because i love it a lot and then we have croconana and the cobras they're like ice cream cobras i don't remember what they're called from also from sorbet jungle these were from um all from a kickstarter i backed a, a, a little green squid because I'm a little squid and a little onigiri. The, the squid is also sorbet jungle. The squid is also sorbet jungle. I got it from their booth. I think the first year I went to Kitsune Con, the first year I vended there, I think it was the first time I ran into them. And the onigiri, I want to say is a uh, tasty peach. I want to say I got it at the first first ace and I went to when I was in grad school. So yeah, these are these are my bags. These are the things I use when I go out into the world. I should also yeah, can't talk. I I should also mention that depending on what I'm working on, I'll have crochet hooks and book binders, needles and bone folders and embroidery floss and wax and all sorts of interesting things depending on what I'm working on. Uh, wax paper for, for impromptu palettes. You, you, what I'm showing you was basically like the foundation of more or less what'll be in a bag. And then there's all kinds of other things that get shoved into it depending on what I'm working on. All right, so I'm going to go and do the thing where I edit things. So do good. Be kind, be brave, try new art supplies because art supplies are the best things, and courage. Are too small for this. Mm -hmm.